Mom, I just want to thank you again for having Maggie and me to dinner tonight. It means a lot that you're getting more comfortable with us. Yeah. I'm not so much accepting as I am really tired. What? I mean, do you know how much energy it takes to keep hating this? I used to run. I haven't run in months, and I'd really like to get back to that. No. Please. No. Please. No. Peter, what does she want? I can't remember. My company is co-sponsoring the telethon for the children's hospital, and we need some volunteers to help man the phones. Who's in? I said, who's in? Sarah, I'd love to help out. Great. We're going to have so much fun and help save lives. But it's really about the fun. <laughs> the best part is I've been selected to hand out the oversized check. Oh, my goodness. What an honor. Yeah, they decided to go with a small person to make the check look bigger. Hey, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Remember Maggie's ex-husband, Bill? Sure. He's on our couch. <laughs> Bill's in, that, in this house? My ex-husband. That's the one. Oh, my God! What, what, what does he know? What did he say? Mom, you're panicking. What, someone gets to present a big check and suddenly they know everything? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, honey. It's, it's, it's really a very big honor. Does he, does he know about Tim and Maggie? I don't think so. He seemed pretty gracious when I invited him to dinner. What is wrong with you? I don't know. We always throw away so much food. Just get back out there right now and keep him busy for a while. Just go, go, go. And you two, I need you to go. Wait, wait, why, why, why are we leaving? We've got nothing to be ashamed of. We shouldn't be afraid of Bill. We shouldn't be afraid of anything, right, Maggie? Yeah, we should go. But, I... Tim, listen to Maggie. She knows best. It just came out, Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess you come out and say hello. Maggie. Bill's coming in. Hey, well, this is just like old times, huh? Look, we don't have to stay for dinner. Who's we? Uh, she didn't say we. She said uh, I. She said I. I heard I. Yeah, we all heard I. Oh, well, don't leave. Uh, I think we can get through one night together. We're already divorced. How much worse can I get? I guess you're right. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Cut it out. You say Mr. Harris like that. I feel like the old guy who makes kids nervous. I didn't mean it that way, Mr. Harris. Bill, Bill, would you go and tell Todd that we'll be eating very soon? He hates to have food sprung on him. Yeah, sure. Take my bags out of the car. There'll be a dollar in it for you. All right, Tim, you gotta go. Listen, I am a little nervous, but I'm not leaving. I need to face this head on. No, you don't. I wasn't raised to run away from problems. Of all the lessons we've tried to shove down your throat, this is the one that sticks. Tim, we're not asking you to run away. We're asking you to hide until Bill leaves town or else leaves our house. This is ridiculous. Hide for me, Tim. Hide for your mommy. Sorry, Mom, I can't. You know, Tim, I have never threatened you kids with violence outside of my marriage vows. It's the one promise I've kept. <laughs> Help me, Tim. Help me keep my promise. <laughs> Fine. Good. Now at least maybe we can get through this evening. Just remember, Bill thinks we're friends, so you guys should probably be nice to me. <laughs> Couldn't we have had a falling out in the last six months? Well, then why would you have invited me to dinner? See you out there. Well, tonight's gonna be a bitch. <sighs> so, dinner will be ready in a half an hour. Tim! I feel like I should be here. Aren't you just in the kitchen? The kids got so much energy. Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> Tim, let me talk to you a second. Uh, you know what? Hey, hey, try one of the mini quiches. Small size, big taste. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? 
I had to come back, Dad. What if Bill is here to get Maggie back? Well, to be honest, I think, I think he's here to get me back. <laughs> Are you kidding? We were good friends, and I, I have a certain way with people. Okay, now I know you're kidding. <laughs> so, what are you two talking about? Can I have some more wine, please? I'll, I'll get it. No, please allow me. Thanks, Bill. Can I top that off for you, Maggie? <laughs> it's really good to see you. It's good to see you, too. It's good to see the two of you seeing each other. You know, why don't we have dinner now? You know what? Or, uh, oh, we'll just call it a night, you know? Hey, <laughs> Bill, it was great having you over for appetizers. I'm only going to be in town for uh, a few days, but uh, do you want to grab dinner one night? I'm dating her now. <laughs> <laughs> Making a move on my girl? Why isn't anybody else laughing? Because it makes us sad. But, but, you know, your company, so if it's funny to you, go ahead. Todd, this will be a little less awkward with, uh, two fewer people. No, I want to watch it. Todd! Okay. Tim and I have been dating for a few months, and we live together now. Well, look at that. I think we should go now. I hope we can still be friends, Mr. Harris. <laughs> sure, Tim, he'll be over in five minutes to ride bikes. So how's work? I'm gonna be sick. Wasn't the quiche, Annie? Kish was great. Thank you. I wanted her back. Really? You did? Well, didn't you see me pour her wine? I was wooing her. Never used to do stuff like that. <laughs> Can't believe this is happening. How is this happening? Well, at least you found out over drinks. We walked in on them, and he was only wearing underpants. I know that you mean well, but you didn't have to tell me that. I gotta go. Oh, listen, Bill, I'm really sorry how things turned out tonight, but it was it was oh. nice seeing you. Yeah. It was very nice seeing you. I mean, it was nice it was seeing you. Very him. nice. <laughs> I can't believe Bill wants Maggie back. I, mean, I can't believe he didn't call and tell me he was gonna be in town. Oh, Peter, please. You haven't called him since the divorce. All right, fine. Peter's not a good friend. Can we move on? Okay. If they did reconcile, it would mean that Tim wouldn't be in this ridiculous relationship anymore. Oh, that would be such a nice surprise. Maybe it could count as our Christmas gifts to each other. <laughs> I'm going to suggest something, and I'm not proud of it. Unless you like it, then I'm proud of it. That sounds good. Let's push Bill to get back together with Maggie. What? It'll tear Tim apart, sure, but I mean, after all this time seeing the kid so damn happy, it might be a nice change to see him a little subdued. Peter, that is not a good reason. Let me finish. We want this relationship to end. And the reason we want it to end because it's not good for Tim. So we owe it to Tim to do what's in Tim's best interest for Tim. Well... That does sound more like we'd be doing it for Tim. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter, but something is telling me that we'd be going too far. And since I've never really had that feeling, I think it's the kind of thing I should be paying attention to. I hear you. Well, wait a minute. What if you looked at it like this? It's what's best for our country. <laughs> Going. Divorce is such a problem in our society. If we can just get one couple to patch up their relationship, we, we wouldn't just be doing this for Tim. We'd be doing it for America. <laughs> I 
I do like America. <laughs>
You're a fun distraction for a woman going through a divorce. It's called a fling. It is not a fling. Tim, a 40-year-old woman with a broken heart hooks up with her 20-year-old neighbor boy. What do you call that? Beautiful. <laughs> Please. Look, I know you still think of me as that kid next door with the rock collection, but I'm all grown up now, and I collect adult things like love. <laughs> And I love Maggie. Love? What do you know about love? I already told you I'm a collector. <laughs> Love's commitment, Tim. I'm committed to oh, her. Really? Because I don't see a ring on her finger. Well, we haven't been dating that long. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there something you're a little unsure about? No. No, it's just that... No, it's just that it's fun and easy to play house, Tim. But you're a child. And this is never going to go anywhere. I guess you have a point. You're damn right I do. So there's only one thing I can do. Give up. Marry Maggie. What? I'm gonna marry Maggie. In fact, I'm gonna go buy a ring and propose to her right now. Whoa, whoa. Let's slow down, Tim. Sorry, Bill. Hey, Tim! Tim! Come on back to bed. We'll talk this out. <laughs> I really need to talk to your parents. When are they coming home? I don't know why you're in such a rush. They're not going to be happy. Well, what about me? I lost my wife. I may never get her back. Is that what you're going with? It's not going to work? When you tell my mom, protect your face. Oh, hey, hey, Bill, what are you doing here? What happened with Maggie? Did you run into Tim? So it looks like I may have misplayed something. Well, what do you mean? Maggie never came home, and Tim and I had sort of a showdown in Maggie's bed. Where is this going, Bill? <laughs> we started talking, and he kept going on and on about how much he loves her, and so I sort of challenged him to propose to her. What? What the hell were you thinking? I didn't think he'd do it. You know, your son really loves her. Yes, Bill, we know that. Well, well, where, where is he? Where did he go? Down to uh, buy an engagement ring, and then I guess to the telephone. How could you do this to us? <laughs> uh, buy an engagement ring? Where did he get money for that? Right, look, I know you're both upset. Look at that. My Leroy Neiman lithograph is missing. Did he hawk my Neiman to buy a ring? <laughs> you hung it in the office. Right. Yeah, but I tell you what, something is missing. I know it. We don't even know Maggie's gonna say yes. Bill, you need to take this ring and go down to that telethon and propose to Maggie. I don't know. I thought maybe we could just date for a little while. Something a little more casual, you know? I mean, we're both recently divorced. <gasps> Where is my... Oh, thank God, there it is. This isn't happening. Oh, it's happening. It's happening on local affiliate station, WCAU. No! Peter, you've got to stop this! I can't be a mother-in-law to a premenopausal woman! No! Jim, stand up. Your mother is ordering you to stand up! Yes! No! Shh, shh, listen to me. I don't want to... No, I don't want to make a pledge. I want to talk to my son. He's the, guy, he's the guy over there on one knee with a ring he couldn't possibly afford. Hello, I'm Sarah Brennan, and I'm happy to be here. What, what is this? We don't want to look at Sarah. Why are we looking at Sarah? My wallet's missing. The bastard took my wallet. I... <laughs> listen to me. No, hey, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I will give you $5,000 if you pan the camera over to the left. Do you hear me? The left. $5,000. So... On behalf of Keystone Financial, I'm thrilled to present Children's Hospital with this check. No! 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 Wow. I didn't think she'd say yes. He's a Brennan. She couldn't say no. Our lives are over. I think you're right. No, you're supposed to say something to make it better. There's a 52% chance they'll end up divorced. I hope so, Peter. I hope so.